Welcome to How to Bake It in Hollywood. I'm your host, Ashley Adams. I am joined by Miss Chanel West Coast. What up? From MTV's Ridiculousness. So we want to get to know a little bit more about you. What are some of your interests? My main passion in life is music that pretty much consumes all of my time. And uh, that's what I'm pr pretty much interested in is music, dancing, singing, rapping. What are some of your favorite desserts? I love ice cream. I love chocolate sundaes, banana splits, and I especially love cookies. You wrote your rap about cookies. Yes, I did a whole song about it. That's how much I like nice. cookies. <laughs> your homage. So I got to get back to baking, but we'll talk soon. Very soon. I plan, right. I plan on tasting whatever it is that you're baking. Listen, I think you're going to like it a lot. OK, cool. I hope. I'm excited. <laughs> Since Chanel is in the music biz, I was immediately inspired by the classic boombox of the 80s and the 90s. And for her, of course, it had to be cookies. So today, I'm making boombox cookies. It's easiest just to use your favorite store-bought cookie mix and follow the directions on the back for cutout cookies. So let's get cracking. One stick of butter, one tablespoon of flour, and one egg. Boom. It's Ashley Insider tip time. After you have formed your dough, you're gonna take plastic wrap and wrap the dough in it, and you're just gonna pop it in the freezer for, I don't know, at least 30 minutes. So it hardens a little bit before we roll it out. Now that our dough is nice and firm, I'm gonna roll it out. What I have done is made a stencil out of a piece of wax paper in the shape of what is going to be the most epic boombox cookie there ever was. I'm gonna try to cut two boombox shapes out of what I've rolled out here. Take your stencil, place down on your cookie, take your knife, and start cutting around it. I'm gonna peel the excess dough away. Save the rest of the dough so you can make as many boom boxes as your little heart desires. Now I'm gonna transfer our boom boxes to a baking sheet I've already lined in parchment paper. Put them in an oven that has been preheated at 375 for about 10 to 13 minutes or until the edges are brown. We're only gonna color our fondant two different colors today. You're using black, white, and gray. I'm gonna wrap these up in plastic wrap so that they don't harden. Now that my cookies are completely cooled, I'm gonna ice them before I cover them in fondant. Just give it a thin layer of icing. Make it as smooth as possible so that your fondant lays flat. So I'm gonna roll it out pretty thin. I don't want it to be like a chunky piece of fondant. So the simplest way to apply fondant to any cake, cookie, pastry is to roll it up onto your rolling pin, like so. Set it aside. Iced cookie. And you just drape it over it and roll it back. Shape it all the way around our cookie. And when you feel like you have the desired shape and it's flat enough on the top, you take your knife and start cutting the excess fondant off. With this extra fondant, I'm just gonna work the sugar back in, wrap it up with saran wrap, and use it for my next project. To shine her up even more, you just take some water, brush it over the fondant, and that will eliminate all your powdered sugar. And as you will see, it's becoming nice and shiny. Rolling out the white, and this will become the silver accents that we'll be using for our cookie. For that, we will be using Duff's Cake Graffiti in silver. It's edible spray paint. It is amazing. I'm gonna use a cookie cutter to make our speakers, which are going to be silver. I'm also gonna be spraying two sweet tarts for knobs. I think it's important to spray each thing at least one time, let it dry, and then reapply. Now this is gonna be the tape deck. I'm just freehanding this, guys. You're gonna cut out what basically turns out to be a rectangle with one of the sides missing. And that's where your play button and record button is gonna go on your cookie. Okay guys, this is your opportunity to be a little kid in a candy store again. I'm gonna cut up a little starburst action right now because I decided that my accent colors were gonna be primarily yellow, green, and red. This part is all you, my friends. I'm gonna use a white strip of fondant to put at the top to signify the handle. Give it a little brush, and then magically, you have a handle to your boom box. I got a cool licorice gumdrop that I'm gonna cut in half, and I'm gonna put them in the middle of my speakers. 
Wow, wow. I'm really excited about chiclets. I'm gonna cut these in half because they're kind of big. I used all white and one red for the record button. So I'm gonna start putting these on here. I'm gonna start with the tape deck because it goes in the middle. Next up, speakers. I have the basis for a boom box. Next thing I'm applying is my AM FM radio dial. Put this right above the tape deck. I got the inspiration for this boom box based on a picture for my accents, but really, you use whatever accent inspiration that jumps out of you. The more detailed you are, the less it looks like candy and the more it starts to look like art. Here it is, guys. Get a good look for inspiration. Or if you want instructions on how I made mine, click below. And while you're at it, subscribe to The Hungry Channel. Welcome hey. back, Miss Thang. What up? Hi. I brought my friend. Stila. Where have you come through? Oh my gosh. <laughs> Thank you so much for coming. No, I had yeah. to. Two thirds of the ridiculous crew. That's all you yeah. need right In there. my kitchen. <laughs> uh, this is amazing. Will you guys come on in? Thank you. I'm so excited to reveal my handiwork. Okay. You ready? Yeah, we're ready. One, two, three. Oh, oh that's dope. It is. That's really a cookie? Those are cookies, it's completely edible. I thought it would be perfect for you guys. Chanel and Sterling, y'all both love music, it's your passion. It reminded me of a classic boom box from the 90s, you know, like. Like Radio cool. Raheem. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if I wanna eat it though, it looks so pretty. Eat it. Oh, you have you to. Eat it. All of it is made of different candies. So we have like gummy, we have Starburst Airhead, chiclet. Ooh, so you can refresh your breath right after you get done eating. <laughs> Yeah, I like that. So Sterling, you're an accomplished music producer. Working music, yes. And Chanel, your rap album's coming out soon. Yes. I wrote you guys a little rap that I would love to get your esteemed opinion on. Okay. If you would love to hear it. Yeah, we're, no, we're down. Okay, cool. Let me be a hype man, please. Oh my gosh. Feel free to get as hype as you want. Let's go. You ready? <laughs> oh God. Drop a beat. Cause they can't make nothing My decorating skills are really something I got skills with my spatula Skills with my spat Skills with my spatula Skills with my spat That's one take wonder, baby You guys, make sure you check out my homegirl and my homeboy on Ridiculousness every Thursday, 10pm on MTV About our rap career that I'm starting up with you guys What should my rap name be? Hmm well, I think because you love to bake that your rap name should be Betty Cracker. Betty Cracker! Yes! I love Bet that. Betty, Betty Cracker. Come on! <laughs> Betty Cracker in the house! Yeah. Give me a bottle of ace and just pour it on the floor right now. <laughs>